Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. I hope that you're doing really good. I sincerely hope all of you are doing really good and that you like the video enough to hit the like button for me. I appreciate that. And subscribe and hit the notification bell and come back. Using Osho Zen Tarot. Probably need to shuffle it a little bit. What's going on with this card? I don't know. Messages for Pisces, opening up to their spirit team, their angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Ooh, look, you got breakthrough, <laughs> like right away. Ancestors, um, I guess we'll keep that one out there, and I'm just going to cut for the rest. Five of cups in the reverse, you're letting go of something from the past. You're having a breakthrough. It might be about a person. Or finding out how to make something fun. Yeah. Ooh. With the eights. Wow. Pisces, you see all this, um, like, psh, uh, electricity and fiery energy I'm getting and then we have a a a okay oh and the Zen master you got the Zen master hmm. this is kind of it is similar to like a magician energy um, because but it's but it's more than that because you've mastered so much it's all because you're able to let go of something from the past um, there's something here in in the past actually in your reading with the nine of nine of wands you know what let me put that light on because it seems like it's really dark for some reason yeah okay see if you can see that a little bit better but this card right here person is exhausted um, in the reverse they're wanting to conserve their energy okay so there's something that you didn't move forward with. Maybe you defended all the way to a certain point, and then you're like, "No, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, wear myself out if I keep doing this." Might have something to do with the house. House card coming out with the Kipper deck. Might have something to do with the house definitely has to do with some kind of justice or breakthrough of justice with this card right here it is the breakthrough card it is the justice card this is the tower card the change and transformation is you this is all you how you're feeling <laughs> you're feeling frazzled are you feeling frazzled that's what it looks like the page of wands in the reverse is um the challenge all work no play doesn't make for a good time in fact it might be what's what could help calm the nerves is to insert some more play playtime playtime <laughs> play essentially and then these are all major arcana major arcanas are big things happening so at the heart of the matter you have the full and the full energy is um, taking a leap of faith starting a journey you may be wanting to like close your heart off with the fool in the reverse <laughs> it's coming out um i feel like this is past there might be somebody that we're having an issue with trusting who who are we um why are we not wanting to move forward on this journey yeah because there was a journey uh card in the reverse justice in the reverse seriously justice upright full upright full reverse justice in reverse i feel like this is something where in the past something just was not right something was off the scales were off uh, something was done it was unfair this could have to do with partnerships that we got out of look at all these major arcana wow i can't get over that Man, and literally justice the fool wow 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 seven of pentacle is in the reverse because we're losing patience with something or someone what are we uh losing patience for
yeah, partnership. <laughs> oh my gosh. True love, real love, partnership. Two of, <laughs> two of cups, losing patience in this energy coming in. And the ace of cups. So, I mean, whoa. It's a, it's a loving gift from the universe. It's either a loving new beginning for you with a person a new it looks like it's a loving new partner coming in maybe there's a lot of patience waiting on this person in the goals and destiny it's about needing to get out of our own way with the um eight of swords because that's kind of being in the head space feeling like trapped losing patience <sighs> wow this is beautiful. I feel like it comes in for most of you. I feel like this is coming in, influencing major breakthrough in partnerships and change and transformation. It's something that you can truly open your heart up to again. Or open your heart for. The the future that I'm getting with the eight of wands is that Cupid's arrow. It is whatever partnership this is. <clears throat> occupation partnerships occupation if 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 not romance then business this is occupation what about the eight of swords up there guilty why feeling guilty um because something is still ending you're having a hard time ending something with someone having a hard time ending something Having a hard time letting go, feeling guilty, feeling restricted, but then you get this message, then you get this message, the eight of wands could be the message, the communication, something that ends up moving you forward in a very fast, a fast way. Adjudication is in the reverse. Settling out of court, being able to settle something without having to go through lengthy channels, something being much easier to litigate than, than you thought, and then the main meal. Able to work something out, able to negotiate or having breakthroughs on trying to open negotiations in the distant horizons this could be like a, a lot of upheaval for you it could mean upheaval and transformation for you that might be what's brought this energy in anyway in the first place is that when your vibration changes basically you know everything changes around you and if you resist like that energy, then you're going to have some problems or issues. Tell me more about um, the Eight of Wands. What is this communication about? Pisces, communication about authority or something to do with the courts or the certain order of something, the order of something. Standing in, bossing up. There's a fear of leaving a situation with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, but it's paired with you know exactly what to do and you have the ability to do it whenever you want. You can step into this really assertive, um, powerful, making all the moves energy. Perseverance, the Nine of, so this is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And here it is in the upright. Perseverance, not quitting, strength and confidence when it's hard to have strength or confidence. Pushing on even when we don't see results sometimes. What's the, um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse? That's the fear, no movement. No movement. The fear is that something doesn't get moving or dealing with like a past mistake or something or dealing with past issue of a mistake, righting a wrong, correcting a mistake, pl 
planning and patience. Big moves. The four of wands changing, um, maybe changing your uh, who your allegiance is to, <laughs> who you're in participation with. You, like this person may have really pissed you off this knight of wands in the reverse. Um, and then you have the devil. I'm not sure if this is if this means that this person that lets you down that you're trying to get away from associating that them with a, a toxic attachment such as the devil Ooh. so you have seven of pentacle reverse seven of pentacle upright you've got an energy that is mirroring it might be this new energy coming in wanting to mirror in a good way hmm So we have Aries. Um, what is this magician or the Zen master type energy? What is that about? Sudden wealth. So it's not sudden, right? It's something where there is a lot of wealth, but it didn't come suddenly. <laughs> Great fortune also. And... Mastering yourself, mastering yourself over um, over this materialism or greed or just mastering yourself, mastering money, waiting on a message, waiting on news, going from rags to riches, poverty, wealthy man, somebody wanting it to ha wanting something to happen for you. So why, what are we afraid to leave behind or why is there a fear of leaving? Whoa, another strength. Okay, so the strength in the Leo card came out again. Fear of leaving. Needing to be brave and confident so that you leave something, uh, then find the path, you know, that is to your ninth cup, to your wish granted. That's what I've got for you guys. It's going to be, it's going to be a short reading. Sorry, today is a short reading. Um, but... Beauty and action. Beauty recognized in the world is simply a reflection of your own um, action. You're the director of your life. Sometimes you have to yell action to yourself. Take the initiative to make progress and move forward with your endeavors. It's never too late. And you take as many takes as you need. The production is life. Camera direction is you. In the near future. I feel like that message will come in the near future. No need to worry, and meditation brings answers. Look for a sign on the bottom. Hmm. Well, you definitely have a sign <laughs> with breakthrough. You're going from a lack mindset to master over um, how money comes. And it's it's not something that's like sudden. This is something that, that you've, um, it's like a skill that you've curated, you know, took care of, grew. Okay, that is what I've got. Sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye, Pisces.